Now let's take a look at using a z-value to get the probability if we want to go between two values of x. So back to our gas station, and the owner still has 1,100 gallons of gas in his tank. He still has average sales of 1,000 gallons per day with a standard deviation of 100 gallons. Now he wants to know what is the probability that he will sell between 750 and 1,150 gallons of gas today. So now we have to worry about two values of x, a lower limit at 750 and an upper limit of 1150, and we want to know what's the probability he'll sell between those two. So graphically, we could chart it like this. I haven't put the z-scale on here, we're just working with x, and we see we have a line here for 750 and another line for 1150, and everything in between these two that's sort of shaded in here is the probability that lies between, and that's what we want to get. Now, if we looked at it from our traditional uh, view, because we're using a cumulative probability chart, if we were to put x value at 1150, we would get the probability under the curve, everything that's shaded in here, is the probability of getting less than or selling less than 1150 gallons of gas in a day. Similarly, if we were to so only look at 750, the part that's shaded in red here would tell us the probability of selling less than 750 gallons per day. Well, graphically, or just visually, we can look at this and say, if we could subtract this red section here from the overall section, what would be left is what's between the lines. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go for this area in between the two lines by calculating the probability of, at 1150 and probability at 750, and then subtracting. So mathematically, it looks like this. We have two z formulas, one for each value of x. So we put in 1150, we get a z-value of 1.50. When we look that up on the z-chart, we get a value of 0.9332. Then we put 750 into the z-formula, get a z-value of negative 2.5, put that on the, look up that on the z-chart and get a value of 0 0.0062. Now all we have to do is subtract the probability of getting less than 750 from the probability of getting less than 1150 and what's left, which is 0 0.9270, is what's in between the two lines. And that's really all there is to it. So the probability that he will sell between 750 and 1150 gallons of gas today is the probability of selling less than 1150 gallons, which is 0.9332, minus the probability of selling less than 750, which is 0 0.0062, or a final answer of 92.70%. So to summarize what we've done so far up to this date, for using z-values to find the probability of x. First, we looked at the probability of uh, less than x, which was simple. Convert your x value to a z-value, look up the z-value on the chart, and there's your answer. The next thing we looked at was to find the probability of greater than a value of x. And we started with the same process, convert x to a z-value, look up the z-value on the chart, then subtract the answer, or the four-digit decimal, from one. So it was one more step. Finally, we ended with finding the probability between two values of x. Now, all we really did was go back to the first part, uh, number one here, and do it twice. First, we converted x2 to a z-value, then looked that up on the chart. Then we converted x1 to a z-value, looked that up on the chart. Then we subtracted the smaller probability from the larger probability, and that's all there was to it.